Hi, this is Ken Kappel from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I've got another absolutely gorgeous Harley Davidson Armaki 125. This is the first one we've had that is a 73 model. It's a very rare one year only model. This one was owned by the same guy since it was new, and he maintained it meticulously. It was stored indoors since brand new, has only 3,000 original miles on it. I have all the server, service records on the over with you every Harley Davidson approved service, and then the service that we just did to it. We went through the entire bike front to back. Interestingly enough, he rode it quite a bit, 73, 74, 75, 76, and when he parked it in the late 70s, he actually took the air filter out of it and filled the engine. He had the four set, he knew it was going to ride it again. He cleaned it up, put it in his man room. That's why the chrome stayed nice and the aluminum stayed nice and the original paint is in good condition. And he filled the engine with two stroke up, bless you. So when we got the bike, the engine was in museum storage, no fuel in the tank, and the engine full of two-stroke oil, so that was preserved beautifully, like brand new. So we took the engine apart just to inspect it. We took the top end off, took the cylinder off, drained all the oil out, cleaned up the piston, and everything is in brand new condition. You can still see the hone marks on the cylinder. So we reassembled it, rebuilt the carburetor, cleaned out the gas tank, rebuilt the petcocks. Uh, put a brand new battery in it. Uh, we painted the side of the battery at, at our paint shop so it matches the bike perfectly and went through everything. Um, I have the work order, I'll go over that way later, but without further ado, let me dump one for you because this thing runs as good as it did came out of the shop. It's only started the first kick for me. Let me turn the key on, fire it up, and all the lights and everything work beautifully on it. Stone cold. As you can see, my hand's on the cylinder and the exhaust pipe, still cold. Fires right up, first kick, and it purrs like a kitten. Nice brand new horn on it. All the turns in those work great. The electronics on the bike are in perfect condition. Front rear turn signals work great. The uh, rear brake light works perfectly, and it purrs like a kitten. These Harley Davidsons were considered a cut above the Japanese bikes of that era. It came with Seriani forks and a high performance Arbaki, Italian designed two stroke engine. So they rip, they go really good. You can ride it on the street, you can ride it on the trail. This is an enduro model for on and off road. A lot of fun. are becoming extremely collectible. Um, the last one we sold that was, we had one that was in similar condition, an orange one, but it was a 74 model, which isn't quite as rare. That we auctioned that one off for 5500 um, There's one I just sold on eBay, a basket case version of this, sold for 1400 So um, I, I would estimate the, the street value of this bike somewhere around $5,500. So is that about right, Kenny? Mike? I'd say. I am at, I am a, a Antique Motorcycle Club of America concourse judge. I judge bikes at the shows. Uh, and as far as this one goes, this is about as original as you're going to find a bike uh, of this era. This bike's, um, let's see, 50, oh wait, 45 years old. So uh, it's almost 50 years old. The bike has the original Pirelli tires. Take a look at these tires, Penny. Um, they definitely don't make, make 
with tires like this, uh, this quality anymore. The rubber must have been a uh, definitely cut above the dry rot with the front tire that I can see, um, which is really remarkable because today you buy new missions in five or six years for dry rotting. The rear Pirelli tire is in perfect condition. The rubber on the foot pegs are Harley Davidson foot pegs. You can see this one's never been scraped or dropped. The rear brake up lever is perfectly straight. The tips of the clutch lever and the uh, original factory Harley Davidson label grips are in perfect condition. Again, as far as I can tell, near as I can tell, this is 100% original besides the battery. Uh, again, we, we completely dismantled the engine. Also, one other thing I want to point out, come around this side, Kenny. Um, in addition to cleaning the gas tank and the fuel lines in the petcock, the carburetor was also removed and professionally cleaned in our hydrosonic carb cleaning tank. A uh, brand new air filter was installed. And see this rubber boot right here? That's a brand new Aramaki uh, NOS rubber. They tend to get hard after 20, 30 years. So it's a nice and it starts and runs perfectly. This is the original fuel injection tank um, on this particular model. It's mounted in the front and it's metal. The, the ones that replaces had a plastic tank in the back, which was prone to breaking. This metal tank is going to be pretty much bulletproof. It has a sight glass on the side. You can see it's full. junction box and cable and it was tuned in and uh, adjusted to perfection. The oil tank was also flushed out, the oil line was flushed out and the injection pump was tested and adjusted so it works beautifully. Um, the original shocks are in good condition. Again the seriatic front forks, beautiful condition on the forks, no pitting on the lower fork tubes. The uh, lowers are the original polished aluminum in beautiful shape. The chrome on the wheels is in very, very good, especially the rear rim. These, the, the chrome on these Italian built Harley Davidson's, the Armakis, is notoriously not that good and would pit and peel. You can see this one was definitely stored indoors. There's no pitting or peeling or very little patina. There is a little bit on it, but usually the chrome just peels right off of them. Um, the, uh, everything on the bike's in beautiful condition. The cables, the shocks, the turn signals. The, the fenders are a polished stainless steel front and rear and they're in beautiful condition. If you look at the look at the underside of this fender, Kenny, obviously a bike that was never ridden off-road. Um, this is also a matching numbers, unmolested original bike, has an original seat. Good luck finding a nicer one. Um, I have I go to a lot of bike shows, I go to Daytona. I haven't seen a nicer one than this. Um, the original paint uh, is unmolested, unretouched. It has a little patina on it, a little bit of um, paint. Uh, scraping right here and a couple of patina marks on the top, but this is original factory graphics and the tank's in beautiful condition. Uh, the handlebars are beautiful. The inside of the tank looks to be brand new. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, this is a bike that the fuel was drained out of and it was stored for 40 years in, a, in his man room, in the living room, with the um, engine full of oil, filled to oil, filled with oil. So um, all the seals on the motor, the, 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 the piston, pistons, the rings, the top end bearing, the cylinder core is like brand new. Starts up and runs first kick. I mean, I could keep going, but I think you get the idea. Let's do a little demo ride of it, Kenny. It's got uh, buddy pegs on it. I'll probably take a little ride down the street. Again, this is a street legal motorcycle. Uh, this is not a mini bike, it's a motorcycle. I weigh 230. I'm six foot two. My son's the same size as me. You get about 450 pounds on this bike, and it takes off like nothing. A little 125 Kusho, it's got a lot of power. Uh, it's got buddy pegs on it, so, and a long enough seat, so people can be comfortable. And again, it's 100% street legal. Take it for a quick demo, all right? the New England Motorcycle Museum. So not only are you buying an awesome piece of moto history, you're helping preserve motorcycle culture by supporting the museum. If you want to leave it here at the museum, you're more than welcome to it. If you want to pick it up, we can ship it anywhere in the country for you, no problem. Florida, $400. 
west coast around 600 all the way to Europe. We can get this bike to the UK for about 700 bucks. So that's about it. Um, let me bring it inside and I'll go over the paperwork with you. I'll show you all the, the uh, service records. And again, I have a work order for $2,700 with the work we just did. Free, uh, free going through everything on the bike, and making sure it's all in perfect condition. Uh, in deep, full detail, 23 hours of labor and over $300 in parts. Hop on. Sing pairs like a kitten. So in addition to being one of the nicest survivors I've seen, I also have the original TX125 1973 owner's manual, um, which has got some really cool information in it, and also, also the service maintenance manual for, to the original owner, John Sullivan. And it shows in here when he had the 500-mile uh, he had the 500 mile service done at 498. He had the 1,000-mile um, service done at 1071. At 2174 miles, he did the 2,000-mile uh, service. And then... Obviously, he didn't do the 4,000 miles, only has 3,300, but um, at 3,380 miles, he parked the bike and, um, like I said, drained the gear oil and then refilled it with new gear oil and then filled the entire, right up to the top of the piston, the whole engine. So the engine was preserved in oil for 30-something years. And uh, when we got it, we dismantled it, inspected all the internal components on the engine. They're perfect and went right through it top to bottom. Everything works beautifully, just as it did brand new. Uh, we have a total, the work order has a total of 23 hours labor on it, um, for plus $305 in parts, plus shipping, it came to $2,693. That's at $90 an hour. You'll get a copy of the work order and the write-up of what we did to it with the bike. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, we, uh, just to give you a quick rundown, uh, the bike had a complete inspection and evaluation. Uh, brand new battery was installed, and once we painted it, black to match the battery. Um, installed the battery and um, we also disassembled the ignition switch to clean the contacts. We did a compression test on the bike. It's a full 150 PSI which is the factory specification. The spark is excellent. We installed the new spark plug. We removed and replaced the carb, the fan adjust and replaced the carb gaskets and o-rings. Complete rebuild on the carb. We assembled the throttle oil pump, the twist grid cables and installed the new junction block on the throttle cables. Um, we Installed the uh, a new side stand. The original side stand was um, had a bend in it, so this is a new side stand that we purchased and installed. Um, put a brand new uni air filter uh, with the cage and oiled it and reinstalled it. Um, cleaned the bottom end again. We completely dismantled the exhaust system. The exhaust system was also filled with oil, also. So the exhaust system. Uh, was preserved perfectly in oil. If you look at it, it's, there's no rust on the pipe. It's in perfect condition. Um, we, we removed the exhaust pipe, cleaned out the oil, removed the cylinder and the head and the pistons and the rings and cleaned everything out. Uh, cleaned the carbon off the piston and cylinder head uh, and exhaust port and then just inspected everything. Everything was in perfect tolerance. Just drained the oil out and reassembled it. We also put new gear oil in it. Uh, took the Injection tank uh, cleaned it. We also bled the fuel pump and sink the oil pump cable and filled it with new oil after flushing it. Uh, cleaned and adjusted the original drive chain. Um, the turn signal grounds, one of the turn signals wasn't working, so we replaced the ground on that and uh, installed a new horn on it. So, um, also cleaned out the fuel tank, uh, checked and serviced the operation of the pet cot, and installed new fuel in it with stable. So, uh, 23, and it went through the detail shop for a full museum quality detail, top to bottom, everything was clean, and it's in perfect condition, ready to go to this new home. So, good luck to the new owner. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Um, I believe it even has the original Harley Davidson mirror on it, I'm not sure, but it looks at original. The original, check out these, the, the grips, it says Harley Davidson right on the grips, and there's no damage to the original grips, which is extremely rare to find an almost 50 year old pair of rubber grips, grips in the shape. The, the levers are beautiful. Again, can't say enough good about the bike. If you have any questions about it, give me a call 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on the bike. God bless America.